Hi, I'm Raimi and today I wanted to embody Pinterest spring model makeup. You know, basically like I live in a cottage but I'm also super hot kind of energy. <laughs> Which is why I have on my silk bandana. It's really cute. It has like these little nature things branches and not gold hoop earrings on to kind of help the process come along. I'm definitely someone who is kind of skeptical of primers, but my life has recently been changed by this, what is this? Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. Usually I just use primer just because I feel like I'm supposed to, but this one actually does something. This stuff basically makes your foundation look super, super silky smooth on your face. It's kind of alarming how it works, <laughs> but I just wanted to share that since I literally have never had a primer do as much as this one. So if you're in the market for a primer, this bad boy is it. I recently got a lot of makeup, so I'm basically using everything that I fell in love with in the past like three weeks. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil because I love it. It's in number 6 and I just can't use a pomade because my brows are so grown out from quarantine that she just needs something a little lighter. foundation you can definitely use like just concealer or tinted moisturizer if you want but i want to go for a more full coverage look and i feel like my scars show through anything i use so it doesn't really matter for me anyways i'm actually really excited that i'm getting ready i might even put a real clothes on actually probably not you see how good my foundation looks already like and when you add powder it still looks so natural and pretty I struggle with texture a lot right here and sometimes on the lower half of my cheek which is why I always opt for like a hydrating primer and lots of skincare before makeup just because using matte products will highlight your texture more so more so even if you have oily skin I would say go for more hydrating products but I'm still gonna use powder after this even though I'm using hydrating products and with this primer I noticed the powder doesn't like make it crazy so we're in the clear I saw this TikTok that was like a tutorial on how to get like a Bella Hadid more lifted concealer and it's basically what I do now but also adding this fat line all the way right here. So let's hope that works and right here I'm pretty sure. I feel like my Animal Crossing character with this bandana on. Okay, what the heck? I feel like this technique definitely made like kind of a big difference. And I don't know if you can tell, but like for me, my concealer never looked this like bright. <laughs> Bella, watch out. <laughs> Powder, because all this concealer is a recipe for creasing. See what I mean about the primer, how like my skin looks so good, like I'm just, wow. Like it's not matte, but it's not dewy, it's just very, it's smooth and silky. I feel like I'm participating in witchcraft, but I mean if that's what I have to do to get my foundation to look like this, then... So for this headscarf, I practiced putting it on last night. And it didn't go very well and I was just like I'll just figure out in the morning and I did it again this morning and I was like why is it looking like that like I looked very not cute I just couldn't figure out why because I, I'm pretty sure I just fold it into a triangle and then wrap it around my head and tie it like what the heck so I finally caved and watched a tutorial and I didn't want to watch a tutorial because I my brain knew how to do it like simple steps like I should be able to do it I watched a tutorial she did exactly what I was doing the whole entire time and only after I watched it was I able to successfully create this which is just like why like I was doing the same exact thing but for some reason when I watched someone else do it I just magically got it right I don't understand I don't understand 
and that's on having issues with asking for slash receiving help. I would like to take this at home DIY nose job time to thank you guys for all of the positive feedback and the nice things and the support on my recent self love series episode one upload on here. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time because whenever I ask questions like these little questions thing on Instagram stories, I always see like an influx and even in my DMs of questions about how to love yourself and how to be confident and insecurities and relationships and boys and girls and all of this stuff. Um, and I just feel like I have so much to say about that and I've grown through so many of those. And of course, I don't know it all, but I feel like I've based a lot of my life on learning to love myself. So um, I'm just really happy that I finally in 2020 started that series and I just want to say thanks for all of the nice things that you guys have been saying and for sharing your stories and your advice and what you disagree on and what you think um, under the video. So yeah, that is super amazing. And I'll be definitely filming a number two in episode two probably this week. I'm probably going to do a poll on Instagram and put two topics against each other and see which one you guys want to hear about more or hear about first. So yeah. Arguably the best part of makeup is blush. I have these two Laura Mercier blushes in Rose and Fresco. This one is kind of looks like a light bronzer to me but it's like filled with tiny little glitters and I really like it. So I'm probably just going to mix these two together and see how it goes. I remember when I didn't like blush. Tragic. Thinking not liking blush was a personality trait was one of my biggest flaws in the past. And I'm glad that I've grown as a person and I'm not ridiculous anymore. I feel like I always check what my blush looks like on my phone because that's where it really matters. In pictures. Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. I don't think I've ever used it before. putting this little plastic thing back because I get really attached to packaging for no reason and I will just package it up like how it came for months. I have this palette from this clean beauty brand called PYT Beauty and I just like the colors and I can see myself traveling with these if I ever get to travel again in my life so dabbing on a little bit of concealer on the inner part of my crease and then I just go like this and see how high up it goes and I kind of just fill that in so when I put some shimmer on it later it'll be more mm. I'm just using a gold highlighter for my lid highlight because it just adds to the cuteness factor of everything ever I'm using the benefit their real mascara I was gonna use the glossier lash slick but I just couldn't decide and since this one's right here I'm just gonna use it because if I think about it any longer I would have just spent the whole day trying to decide so here we are Glow Recipe Lip Pop is amazing for prepping your lips. I've been using it every day just because I love it. It has like tiny little beads in it to exfoliate and then um, literally magic for the rest of the ingredients. I don't know. I use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist and this is also a watermelon so I just love their whole watermelon line. I'm going to use a mixture of this KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 1.5 and this Laura Mercier Lip Liner in Hazelnut Tea. This one is basically the same exact thing as the Boxum Lip Liner in Hush Hush that I've been using for years. And you guys hear me talk about it all the time, but look at me switching it up, even though it's the same color.
I stared at my lips like this for like 10 minutes until I realized I just needed gloss. What is wrong with me? We might need lip gloss. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah. This is the Laura Mercier lip glaze in, or glace, glace, in the shade bare pink. <laughs> now we just need to add one of my signature little dots on my face. I have a natural one right here. And here is the final look. I am really happy with it, honestly. I feel like a cottage core baddie. I feel like the beauty marks are always like the perfect finishing touches. They just add so much character. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I feel good. I feel pretty for myself and probably for Instagram and Twitter too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And if you're new here, I'm Raimi. I'm 19. I dropped out of college. I like beauty fashion, makeup, I have a crazy acne transformation that I've done, cystic acne to basically no acne besides scars, and um, I have a hot dog, not like a hot, like she's a dachshund, um, I have natural hair that I haven't straightened in a few months, I'm trying to make it to a year, and I'm also 4'10", and hopefully moving out soon. And I have a super cool boyfriend, love him so much. And I'm really, really into self-care and manifesting and law of attraction and just existing. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I got for you today. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments. Watch my other videos if you're bored. Help me buy an apartment. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye.